Lane Hodson is at it again, guys. Yes, yes, this little guy right here. You see, last night it was supposed to be Boston versus North Dakota, but it turned into Lane Hudson versus North Dakota. Our boy scored a hat trick. He had six shots on goal, but let's go ahead and let's start from the very beginning. Here we go. This is goal number one. He's walking the blue line. Watch, watch, and bam. Breaks some ankles, fires a wrist shot, and gets the Terriers on the board. Now, you might have heard my good buddy Drew Deeks call him the, the ankle breaker before. Well, this is exactly why. The kid's an animal. Now let's take a look at goal number two, and this is actually my favorite one of the bunch. He dishes it off to future head, Macklin Silabrini. That's right. We should all be aboard the stiff weenie for Silabrini train. Hudson goes towards the net, and just, just watch this pass. Hey, how do you like your sauce? Just enough, he says. Oh my god, what a beautiful goal. I know you guys want to see the magic show in Montreal real soon, and so do I. Moving on to the hat trick goal now, and look at R5, North Dakota players. They're all just hypnotized, watching Hudson glide across the ice. He's like an extraterrestrial. What a release, no chance for the goal tender, and what a silly, what a prospect. Lane Hudson really is, guys. He's already got six goals in seven games right now so far this season. And I don't know if you guys can remember, but a couple of games back when he returned from injury, he said, you know, he wasn't really feeling 100% just yet. But I'm pretty sure he's starting to feel up to par again right now. Of course he is. The kid's getting so hot, even Greta wants to stop him. He's a massive global risk. 62nd over on the 2022 draft. Everybody and their dogs and cats know that if this draft was redone today, Lane Hudson would have never gotten that far. Come on. Because every team, including Montreal, dropped the ball on him at least once. But I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. Lane Hudson is my favorite Habs prospect right now in the system by far. It seems like he's only just getting better and better with every game. And I know a lot of people question if he's going to be, you know, capable of doing this kind of shit in the NHL. But look at Quinn Hughes. Similar style, similar size. I'm not saying he's going to be equally as good, but I am saying he's got the tools to be an offensive stud on the Habs blue line. Hudson's becoming a bit of a legend down there. And you gotta love it. Now here's a quick look one more time, guys. Let's be honest. We can't get enough of this, can we? Goal number one, shattered ankles. I hope that kid's got good health insurance. And goal number two, just chocked four of Celebrini fancy sauce. <laughs> and the Hattie. My God. Can you wait? Because I can't. Just give the kid whatever degree he wants already and put him in a Habs jersey. Let me know your thoughts on Hudson's most recent performance down in the comments section. I also uploaded a Habs game review today, so you might want to check that out if you haven't already. Don't forget to bite the like button. And hey, well, see you next time.